right, so why don't we start with what have you accomplished so far in your music career and what and what are you currently working on? Okay, well, so far, so far my, career, my music career um, in regards to my lifestyle and the way that I live my life, so I'm extremely happy with where I've, the, the area that I've reached. However, now I do think it's time to, to, to form a team. Okay, absolutely. Well, it, it certainly sounds like you have accomplished some some great things, um, especially in terms of you know I I've, I'm pretty familiar with with your your music brand as well. And one thing that you definitely have going for you is branding. Your your branding and your imaging is extremely unique, and that's that's often a challenge for. Um, independent and up-and-coming musicians to kind of set themselves apart from the pack. Um, just some just some general questions and, and another thing that really stuck out to me is that you've already started creating merchandise and the fact that you've had some success selling your merchandise is, is another thing that stands out to me as a real positive as well as your personal website. That's, that's extremely important for um, independent musicians to have. Um, so some some quick background questions. You're are you registered with uh, ASCAP or BMI? I am with BMI and I have been you know, since the very beginning. Okay. All the paperwork and all that stuff is definitely I'm very business savvy when when it comes to music. Okay, excellent. And when you release your album, who uh, who's your digital distributor? I've been going through DistroKid, I've been yep. shopping around. Yep. Um, I do like DistroKid. Yep, DistroKid's great for, for independent uh -huh. musicians. $20 a year, unlimited uploads. That's really good. So the other thing I want to ask you is, um, have you heard have you heard of uh, Song Trust? Mm. Okay, no, I'm well, not so song, song Trust is a publishing administration company now they they do a similar service as BMI which is they track the use of an artist's music to make sure that you're collecting all the royalties that are owed to you for the use of your music and when you mentioned that you have um, you have listeners in in different parts of the world that's something that stuck out to me because a lot of um, independent musicians feel like they're not getting their full compensation that they should be from from their from their performance rights organization. So that's something that I would suggest you look into. And there's there's other uh, publishing administration companies out there, but um, I think I think Song Trust is something that you should look into, seeing as you are you know your music is is streaming pretty well. The other thing is um, Sound Exchange. I am familiar with Sound Exchange. Okay, and have you have you um, signed up with them? I have not. Okay, it's it's free. Sound Exchange okay. is free, and again, um, they're they're uh, this similar similar to BMI, similar to Song Trust. They just um, again. One of the most important things to make sure that you're getting compensated for for the use of your music is to know where where your music is being played. Absolutely, I agree. Okay, um, so what challenges are you facing, and what do you need help with? Um, I think the visibility. Um, I, I I do have. Um, a healthy amount of visibility, but um, having a grassroots, um, homegrown, organic following, you know, um, a lot of times um, people look at numbers, especially on social media, and those numbers will be, well, if somebody has, you know, 10,000 followers, then they, they equate that to being someone. What I know, um, before I had 2,000 followers, I had already made $2,000 off of merchandise music. So I knew that it's not about the actual numbers, it's about the engagement. But I go with the, uh, I call it the $10 theory. Um, and the $10 theory is ultimately, in a nutshell, 
the rights in terms of everything, you know, but you do, once again, need a team and you need to be able to delegate. These are two of the areas that I feel independent musicians need to focus on. One is they need to view themselves in addition of being a musician as a content creator, right? With, with the internet and social media, it's a necessity that musicians become a content creator so that they can put out high level content consistently that people can grow to expect to see new pieces of content from them on a daily basis across a multitude of social media platforms and 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 streaming platforms and and you know podcasts playlists um, you know DJ pools internet radio where, wherever the distribution channel is and if you're able to do that and create content that's at a high level and that entertains or add val or adds value to your audience you'll get people to keep tuning in and that's going to help you grow in terms that's going to help you grow your your fan base and your audience and your brand the second thing is and that that we mentioned before the modern musician and this is another area where a lot of independent musicians struggle what you're trying to show in creating all these different pieces of content is you're trying to show and sell a lifestyle that people will identify and connect with and that will enable you like like you are already on on track doing to sell other things besides your music because it's your your live performance in terms of streams of revenue for a musician it's your live performance selling your music your merchandise licensing and then of course if you can if you can get any sort of um, partnerships sponsorships or endorsements but you you're able to do that once you create a lifestyle that people can buy into then you then you're able to generate those additional streams of revenue so going back you you mentioned visibility so have you started doing paid advertise paid facebook advertising or paid instagram advertising for any of your content Absolutely. Well, you know, the thing about the digital age of music and these different social media platforms, it's going to be a continuous a continuous learning curve. And so you're always going to be fine-tuning your messaging and and changing, you know, the different marketing tactics that you're going to try. So it's going to continue to be changing and as you grow, you know, you're you're going to be changing more more and more and, and different things now um youtube how's your youtube channel my youtube channel is suffering um because i haven't been uh, investing the time as i should um i do upload on a regular basis but nowhere near um, i've been watching videos for quite some time where they're like you gotta have bare minimum two or three videos um Okay.
So, so that's great. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you mentioned that. So, one of one of the areas that I feel that I could help add value to to your music career is helping you in terms of coming up with creative content ideas so that you could be putting out more content more frequently not only on your YouTube channel but across all your other social media platforms and again because you've done such a great job in terms of your your brand your branding to create um, a, a unique persona for your music you have a lot to work with a lot more than than a lot of up-and-coming musicians Thank you. so what what I do and and I think you're you're a little bit familiar with with what I do um, I, I work with independent and up-and-coming musicians to sort of fill that void left from the labels in terms of artist development right so branding effective social media promotion strategic planning and also working with musicians to train them how to become their own booking agent because that you know in terms of being a live performance musician who's able to generate income from your live from your live performances and touring that's that's the key to having a long-term music career So, is that is that an area where you would like some help with, additionally? Definitely. Um, I mean, that's paramount. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Absolutely. At the end of the day, you know, you, you have to. That's part of the um, tidbit that I mentioned in regards to visibility, because um, being that I've been around a little bit, I, I've had the ability to behind a curtain, which means that a lot of times when you have open mics and you have summits and you have these deals where somebody offers, you know, they say, well, come out and the winner will perform in front of executives. You know, I'm one of those people that's just like, I've seen um, I mean, situations where you know, the winner was chosen before the night, and then basically we have 15 artists that pay $20 each, and they go up on stage, and they, they, I mean, they're being robbed because they're following their dreams and aspirations, and people are preying on them, right? And so I see that on a regular basis, and that's why I don't choose to do open mics, you know, now. On the other hand of that, I mean, you should do open mics if you're a new artist and you struggle with maybe you know, um, you're being comfortable, you know, performing, or you're getting on the stage in front of people, you need that because you need to add miles to, you know, what it is that you're doing in order to get comfortable. You know, I just, and that's why I told you initially, I've been watching your movement and the things that you've done. And you've been putting out free content for quite some time now. And for me, it's been extremely beneficial. So I look at you, you're not on your Facebook page saying, hey, for nine, for ninety nine ninety nine, I can help you become a rock star. No, you don't do that. <laughs> you know, and, and that's one of the things that drew me to initially giving you a call, you know what I mean, to take the next step to see what it is that you have to offer. Okay, absolutely, and yeah, I I really appreciate that, and I'm glad that um, the the content that I post has been beneficial for you. Um, at the core of what I do, I'm trying to help independent musicians take their love of their love and hobby that is music and transition that into a paying career. And I honestly believe that education, in terms of the business aspect is is the key to empowering um, independent and up-and-coming musicians um, I want to go I want to go back for a moment because you mentioned because since we are um, here in Atlanta Georgia there are a lot of um, open mics and contest opportunities 
and there is um, a lot of pay to play going on. So another area that I believe I can add value to your music career is giving you a few tips and strategies on how you can gain value from every single performance and maximize that and maximize those opportunities of every performance and it's great that you mentioned as an up-and-coming musician it is important that you are getting on stage to perform as much as possible and I think with a few of the things that that I could show you on how to maximize the value from each of those performances even if you run into um, a situation like you mentioned where it's a contest and they've already decided the winner before everyone's performed you can still gain value you can still gain a lot of value from from those type of performances mm -hmm.